How's everybody doing, man? It's your boy Cameron coming at you with this video. Try to see if I can glare out the light by putting the hat forward. No, that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna turn it, turn it this way. Sorry about the lighting. Um, I felt the need to do this video mainly because I do this video like, excuse me, every year, and it's gonna be a little different. Um, as everything about this year has been different, usually this video is um the game i'm talking about uh, i'd be decked out in all my georgia stuff but here i sit in a uh, motorcycle club support shirt and a backwards race world series hat I'm just sitting here and thinking about usually this is a hate week everybody knows that except for one day in the football season i cannot stand the University of Florida. I cannot stand losing to this football team. I can't stand anything about them. And the only time I do wish they wish victory upon them is when they play the University of Tennessee. Mainly because I've had personal encounters with shitty Tennessee fans. Um, not on YouTube, but just in personal life. So, but. This video usually would be a hate week, you know, I come out here and, you know, hype up my dogs to come out and beat up on them gators and beat up on them gator fans and, you know, basically talk a bunch of shit to my gator friends um, on and off of YouTube that follow this hate week that I've had for five years. Five years! 2015, my boy Justin, a.k.a. back in the day, JTWWE, I tried to get him on the phone, try to get a, a joint reuni re reunion video going, but nothing happened, so. But no, I, five years ago, him and I were sitting um, at a Buffalo Wild Wings. This is when we first became friends. We were sitting at a Buffalo Wild Wings, and we swore the next time. We, we were the loudest two damn people on a rainy Halloween day. It was raining its ass off where we live. And it was raining its ass off at the game. So me the whole coast the whole the whole state of Florida was covered in rain that Halloween. Anyway, beside the point, we're sitting there, we looked at each other and we said, This is the last time we will watch this game on fucking television. 2016 we went, we met up with Augusta Gator. And history is what it is. Every year we'd go, we meet at in the same okay we go to the same hotel meet in the same parking lot eat at the same app of like right now i should not be at my house i should not be in my drive in my in my driveway or in my garage i should be sitting at an applebee's drinking two for ones and eating fucking quesadillas but no i'm, I'm sitting here home the night before the georgia florida game man that kills me this is my favorite, favorite game of the year. I don't give a shit about Alabama-Auburn. I don't give a shit about Georgia-Auburn. I don't give a shit about Michigan-Ohio State, Texas-Oklahoma. Georgia versus Florida is the greatest fucking rivalry in college football. Because you can only gather around so many freaking people at 8.30 or earlier in the morning... And you get us all in one area. And everybody's all passing food and passing beers no matter what fucking team you're supporting. But the minute you walk into that stadium and you're wearing different colors, it's fuck you and have a nice day. All day you would be there at the same time as having a beer with the same person. You would be telling them that their team sucks and you're gonna get your ass kicked and hoobity blue blah and bloobity bleep blah kind of shit. That's why I will always say I hate the University of Florida, but I don't hate the University of Florida fans. Because I've had nothing but awesome encounters with Florida fans, even the ones I don't fucking know. And you take that shit for granted. 
when there's shit like a pandemic going on, where I guess they're allowing fan. You know, I talked about it with my dad and and a couple other buddies of mine. We talked about going just to, you know, because this is the one time a year I get to see Georgia. We talked about going and say, hey, screw the pandemic. We'll go there. We'll wear the stupid face coverings and this, that, and the other thing. But then we looked at each other like it just wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be the same as driving up on Friday in the middle, in the mid, late morning, early afternoon, getting there late afternoon, early evening, going to the Applebee's, grabbing a couple beers and waiting on everybody else to show up, then grabbing a couple beers and them eating some dinner, and then stopping to get, get, getting everybody parked and situated where we could easily pull out of the parking lot of the hotel and drinking a couple beers out in the cooler in the parking lot. And then going inside and then going to bed. It, it, This is the first time in five years. Well, five games. Yeah, it'll be four, 16, 17, 18, 19. This would have been my fifth. First time in four years. So sorry. First time in four years. I've met so many people throughout my time of going to this game. Whether I've met you in the stadium. I'll never forget my first year there. My first year there was the was the last time Georgia lost. And um, we went up quickly 10 to nothing. We picked off, um, I want to say the quarterback for Florida was back then, it either was, um, damn, uh, Luke Del Rio or Austin Appleby. I don't know if Luke Del Rio was hurt by then. It was one of the two, and they threw a pick. We intercepted the ball. We scored a field goal, and then we got the ball back. Or no, we we took the we had the initial drive. Took Nick Chubb, ran a touchdown, and I'll never forget just jumping up and down, cheering or whatever. Then in the middle of nowhere, just getting pulled into this. Pl we sat on the Georgia side. My first year, we sat on the Georgia side, and just getting pulled into this big hug of people. I met so many cool people throughout this game, whether it was, in, again, in the stands, when I got there, at the tailgate part, everywhere. And it, that's one of the things I'm going to miss the most about going to this game. The thing I will miss the most about going to this game is the tailgate and is the, the stuff we did the night before and the, the, the night after the game. We would go to – it was always – that's why it was kind of... You guys wouldn't get it unless you were there, man. It's tradition. It was a tradition we built and a tradition we can't continue this year. And it sucks. I could really use something like the cocktail party. Just forget everything about the you know politics, the pandemic, everything, man. I there have been a lot. There's been for every good thing that's happened in my life this year. There's been like ten or fifteen things gone wrong, and I know I'm not the only person that has that. So here's what I want out of tomorrow. I want those skies to be blue as day. I want the weather to be cool and nice. I want the be, be I want the beer to be stuck to the ice. It's so cold. I want the food on the grill to be delicious as fuck. And I want a good game. And I want a dog's win. Because even in the midst of a pandemic, even in even even it being a rivalry game, and this game meaning so much as it is, it's not a hate week right now. I don't don't feel hate. 
honestly, I feel something missing. This game is not normal. Nothing about this year is normal. But this game, I'd rather there be either all 100,000 of us there or nobody there. Or it not be played at all. And I swear by that. Some people don't have the luxury of going to this game every year, but it is the only time I, excuse me, get to see the Georgia Bulldogs. So, at the same time as feeling excited to play this game, and I'm gonna do my best at home to make it feel like I was there. But at the same time as feeling excited about this game, I, something is missing. And the obvious part is that I'm not there hooting and hollering with my buddies, getting drunk in the middle of a parking lot at 11 a.m. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. To all my Gator friends, let's have a good, clean game tomorrow. Go dogs.